Hey, I am Bruno Albuz. Thank you again for watching the Real Deal Cooking Channel. I heard it's the apricot season, meaning it is time for family reunion. What's better than a nice apricot pie or tart? Whatever you want to call it, it's going to be stunning. So first, I'm going to make my sugar dough. Butter. Come here, baby. Earthquake. <laughs> Not funny. Sugar. Grey salt. Powder sugar. Almond meal. Process very quickly. Next, the egg and vanilla. A couple of pulses. And scrape the sides of the bowl. Flour in two times. Half first. A couple of pulses. The other half. That's it. Sugar dough, done. You don't want to clean the food processor yet because we're gonna do a couple of other things, such as the crumble and the almond cream. The reason why you wanna flatten the pastry is that it is going to cool down faster. Next in the agenda, crumble. First, I am going to crush my almonds. Just crushed, beautiful. Next, butter and powder sugar and flour. Process until it comes together. And then I'm gonna add my almond. Couple of pulses. That's it. This is what crumble should look like. You can leave this at room temperature to dry. Next, almond cream. So to enhance the flavor of my almond cream, I'm gonna use half almond paste and half almond meal. In order to soften my almond paste, I'm going to process it with sugar. So it's completely broken down. So I'm gonna add my almond meal, butter, until it turns into paste and the egg. Look at that, beautiful. Almond cream, done. And we're gonna add a little flavoring, rosemary. So I dried out some uh, rosemary here from my garden. So it's completely dry, but I want this to be turned into powder. Next in the agenda, apricot marmalade. Just make a slit and follow the pit. Ta -da! Easy, right? I'm gonna cut each half lengthwise and then I'm going to cube these bad boys. Heat up your pan, butter, and you wanna cook your butter until it turns light brown. So the butter is going to release its hazelnut taste. Full blast. That's it. So you want to lower the heat, cover, and let it cook for about five minutes. <laughs> Smells incredible. Look at that. Next, sugar, brown sugar, cornstarch. The cornstarch is going to thicken it. Then I'm going to transfer this beautiful marmalade onto a baking tray lined with plastic wrap. Next, the tart shell. So what you want to do first, you want to walk out the pastry to soften it. You, of course, don't want to work this out too much because the more you work, the more elastic it's going to become. Therefore, you are going to lose the purpose of the crust. And as soon as it is supple enough to be rolled out, well, just go ahead and do it. I'm gonna roll the dough into less than a quarter inch thick. I'm gonna fold this in half, grab my mold. Then you wanna rotate the mold as you go making sure the dough is going down, touching the bottom. Then you wanna flour your thumbs and then lightly apply the dough against the edge of the mold. It's so much fun. And then trim the edges and then with your thumb, you lift 
the border up. I'm going to leave this in the refrigerator overnight, uncovered, just like that, and see what happens. So I am going to pre-bake uh, the top shell for 25 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 180 degrees Celsius. To follow, I am going to seal the bottom of the pie with a mixture of egg yolks and heavy cream. This will prevent from the pie to get soggy. Then I am going to spread the almond cream, add some sliced apricot and bake it for about 15 to 20 minutes, just until set. Next, the apricot marmalade and the crumble. Be generous and bake it again for about 20 minutes and see what happens. Then the last touch up. So I am going to sear some apricot slices. I want these slices to be thicker. That's going to go on top of this gorgeous crumble apricot pie. Cut it in half and each half into four slices. So I am going to sear two thirds of it and save one third raw. I hope guys you have enjoyed this stunning apricot pie. To get the full recipe, you know where to go, right? Brunoskitchen.net. Please subscribe, like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Pinterest. I can't resist.